you guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a quick recap of my first tournament. I just got back from Arkansas the other day and I just had some free time to sit down and look through all the videos I was able to take. And I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, I learned a ton. I had some great days on the water. I had two really incredible boaters um, that I'm very grateful for. I'll tell you all about them here in just a minute. Uh, so let's just dive on in and let's talk about what went down on Lake Wachita. On day number one, I was partnered up with Brian Post. He was an absolutely incredible first boater to ever be paired up with. He was so kind, so knowledgeable, uh, was truly just so much fun to hang out with all day. He and I were boat number 61 on that first morning. It was a pretty calm day. Uh, it was about 47 degrees when we first got on the water, super clear, no wind, hardly any clouds, really no clouds. The water started off in the mid to high-ish 40s that morning, so I started off with a rattle trap. This lake was really impressive because it was so clear and so deep. I really hadn't been in a lake like this before. I, Texas lakes aren't really this clear, at least not in my part of the state. There was a ton of timber just under the surface in this lake, so I had to be pretty careful with these treble hooks. When we got closer to the shore and I was able to see some lay down, some trees, some brush, whatever, I was throwing a little wacky rig at it. I usually love a really dark color, a black and blue flake or a purple worm, but this lake just felt so clear that I wanted to go as natural as possible, so I went with a green pumpkin. My boater Brian had so many great pieces of advice for me, especially with the mental aspect of tournament fishing. It was awesome being paired with Brian this day. Being on the boat with him was electric. He was so much fun to talk to. It was so much fun to watch him catch fish. I, I had a great time. I might not have caught anything this day, but watching him catch this fish was just amazing. Day number one absolutely flew by because before I knew it, it was day two. And this time I was partnered with Danny McGarry, another incredible angler and incredible person to be partnered with on the boat. He was so knowledgeable, so helpful. Um, I got to see different types of fishing than I saw the day before, got to see new parts of the lake than I saw the day before. It was amazing. So this day we were boat number 134 and had a later check-in, so we didn't have to be back till 445, which let us be on the lake a lot longer. And there was a pretty big change in conditions between day one and day two. Well, day one was super clear, no wind, uh, no clouds. This time it was cloudy right off the bat. It was a little warmer, it was about 53. The water temperature had come up just a little bit, but it was cloudy and it was windy and it was threatening to rain on us all day. So that definitely changed some things in the water. While the conditions were a little bit different, I was still throwing a lot of the same rattle traps in more open areas, wacky rigs at structures. I threw in some jigs and chatter baits and drop shots, things like that. I caught a few of these chain pickerel. And finally, at about two in the afternoon, I caught my first fish. I was so excited. And you know it, it came on the wacky rig, came in clutch as it usually does. And that one fish meant that I got to walk across the stage in my first Bassmaster Opens, which was a true honor. Danny was a great guy to spend the day on the boat with. He had an awesome attitude. I learned so much from being on the boat with him. As soon as I got that fish in the box, Danny said to me, hey, you get to go up on that stage. And my first thought was, oh no, I have to get up on a stage in front of people. But truthfully, honestly, I had my whole family in the crowd and this is such an amazing memory that I will not forget. So all in all, I consider it a really successful first event. I got to meet some really incredible people. I got to fish a lake I had never heard of before. I got to see bald eagles galore. I got to walk across the stage on my first tournament. I mean, it wasn't like the most impressive bag or anything, but I'm happy with it. I was so excited to be there, to be a part of it. It was great. Um, I think I ended up in 54th place. Only room to go up, you know, hopefully. <laughs> so now that that tournament's behind me, I'm looking forward. Um, my next event is May 2nd and 3rd in Alabama on Lake Logan Martin, which is a lake I have been to before and I'm really excited to see it in a new light. I've fished it for fun before, so this will be a different 
uh, type of fishing, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm also not sure I've ever fished it this early in the year before. I've fished it in the summer and the fall, so seeing it in the spring will be really fun. Um, I'm looking forward to catching up with my boaters again. They were, they were incredible. Um, looking forward to seeing who I get paired up with this time. Stay tuned, it'll be a good one. I know it will be. Alabama is one of my favorite places to fish. So excited.